Hello everyone, my name is Joni and welcome to Love Qualified. I have just finished my first year as a physician associate student in the UK and today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips for those starting PA school this year. There are quite a few quite a few of you that have been asking um, for tips for preparing for PA school and <laughs> I wish that I had these tips when I started when I was preparing last year. I have written down some points which I'm going to be sharing with you guys today and I hope that this um, helps you. So without further ado I'm just going to go straight into it because I don't want this video to be too long. The very first tip I would give you guys for preparing for PA school is to brush up on your anatomy and physiology. This was one thing that I did not do at all. So when I, before I started PA school, I didn't go over my notes. So I did biomedical science at the same uni, St. George's. We did quite a lot of physiology and anatomy at St. George's, but I didn't do any brushing up before I started. But I would say that if you do get the chance, please brush up on your anatomy and physiology, especially, especially if you are not from a science background. So one thing about the course is that because it's so intense and everything's just so packed, they kind of assume that you have a basic knowledge of anatomy and physiology. And so when they're teaching you this, they sort of brush through things rather than going into a lot of detail. So you'd find that when you start PA school, you have to do a lot of self-directed learning on your own, trying to learn all the anatomy and physiology. It's a very clinical based course so they spend most of the time on the clinical side of it um, but the anatomy and physiology is very important so if you have no science background at all there are quite a few resources that I can recommend obviously there's loads more but these are the ones that I have been told that are good so I can um, recommend them to you so Khan, Khan Academy they have a I think they have a website and I think they have a YouTube channel as well um, but I will leave all these things down below so that you can um, search them up Khan Academy so that's the first one and um, for anatomy and physiology and then the one that I personally love for anatomy, for anatomy and physiology when I was doing my notes especially for the muscular skeletal system is teach me anatomy that's the name of the website called teach me anatomy they've got really good pictures and it explains things really well and they link it down to clinical scenarios as well like the clinical um, the clinical um, What's the word? Significance. <laughs> wow. Okay. So they link the anatomy to clinical significance. Okay. Um, so you have that. And then another good YouTube channel for physiology is Armando ha Armando has has Sunigan. I can't pronounce his last name, guys. I can't. <laughs> anyway, he's really good. He's got loads of um, explanation videos. And yeah, so check him out. Check out his YouTube channel and his, I think he's on Instagram as well. Also, Osmosis. Osmosis is really good. I use their videos a couple of times to learn about a few things. I remember when I was learning about the liver, I used Osmosis as well. So, um, Jaundice, I use Osmosis. So it's really good. And there are some crash course books as well. So I know that these books are found in my university's library. So things like crash course for respiratory medicine or crash course for cardiovascular medicine or crash course for like the different systems, you can either find these online. There's a crash course YouTube channel, I think, or you can find the books themselves and the textbooks and those are really useful. So another thing that people have been doing, I know some people have been, uh, I've met on Instagram, they have been trying to go through the matrix of core clinical conditions. Um, some of you may know we have a matrix of core clinical conditions. It has over like 300 conditions on there. These are the these are the conditions that we need to know um, to a certain degree or to a certain extent how to manage, treat, or diagnose by the end of the two-year program. And I know that this is up to you. This tip is up to you um, because I personally didn't do this. But I guess if you want to do this, it it m may help for when you start. So some people, what they've been doing is they've been going over the matrix conditions that have started from cardiovascular um, system and going on to respiratory system and doing the 1As and 1Bs. I said if you do have time, at least the 1As as well, the 1As, if you can do some of the 1A conditions, when I say do them, I mean go over them 
um, and then maybe just make some notes on them before you start again you don't have to do this but if you have the time I would say it's good to get a head start because then you're gonna have to do them at some point anyway when you start PA school and because there's a lot of conditions when you get that head start then that might give you the chance to do other things um, like your coursework and uh, assessments and all of that kind of stuff I use the format dear sim I've talked about that loads of times so with each condition I look at the definition epidemiology etiology risk factors signs and symptoms investigations and management and if you want to know the websites that I use to get information for my conditions please watch my previous video where I was talking about the books websites and resources I recommend for PA school because I mentioned all the websites there so you can check that out um, so yeah that's up to you and then my other to my third tip I would say is to start thinking about your note taking techniques and your study techniques and um, PA school is one of those it's an experience that stretches you so the things that you might have been used to before might not really work for you in PA school but I think it would be good to have an idea of what you're going to do at least when you start be open-minded I would say because what you're used to might not work so think about if you want to handwrite your notes if you want to use notability or OneNote or or Google Docs which I use uh, I use Google Docs to type up my notes my anatomy and physiology I use Google Docs and then I make my posters for all my conditions um, that's basically what I do so um, before I used to print out the slides for each lecture but then I realized that you know what I don't have money to be printing out the slides um, but even though I love printing out slides and writing stuff down at some point it just wasn't working for me so I stopped printing those out and I started making my anatomy and physiology notes on Google Docs and then um, I did my posters and my flashcards of conditions so start thinking about it now and then so you would have an idea for when you start and then if it doesn't work whatever you started with doesn't work try another method because there's no time to test the waters that much and to try and fail and try and fail because everything is so intense you would have to have some sort of idea of how you're going to study or how you're going to make your notes so um, look at study techniques online and um, try some study techniques when you start and hopefully it all works out for you again don't be scared to try new things so tip number four I would say start everything early once you want to get into PA school start as soon as start making your notes start making your anatomy going over your anatomy start going over your pharmacology don't leave anything to last minute because let me tell you something you will run out of time okay you will run out of time I run out of time if you watch my vlogs you would know that I ran out of time I did not go over all the conditions in the matrix when it came to exam time in June and that's because at the beginning of the year I had no idea what I was doing I know I had no idea how to make my notes how to approach the matrix and stuff and if I had started doing my dear sims at the very beginning of the year I feel like I would have gone through more things so now I'm telling you so that you'll be better prepared so start early please start early whatever it is you're doing start early okay okay <laughs> now my tip number one two three four five is make sure to send all your documents so you're preparing for PA school you're thinking about the academic side of things don't forget all the things that they've asked you to send to them I know for my uni um, some people's enrollment um, process got delayed because they didn't they hadn't for, they hadn't sent in some documents so I know they asked you to, well at my uni they asked you to get like a letter from your GP a signed letter from the GP as uh, things to do with like vaccinations and stuff make sure that you sort out your vaccinations um, I know that my uni offers some vaccinations like the MMR hep B vaccine and stuff make sure that you understand what you're supposed to be doing make sure you meet all the deadlines so that once you start PA school you wouldn't have anything stressing you out and you would just be able to go in smoothly because that can stress people out when you're trying to sort out things at the beginning of the year so make sure you sort out all your documents and your vaccinations and all of that stuff okay cool now next tip is to think about finances your finances and you need to sort it out so start thinking about your accommodation I'm sure by now you guys have already or you're trying to sort out your accommodation some people live at home I think in my cohort majority of people commuted but some people um, lived around um, the teaching area 
So you need to think about that if you want to commute from home or if you want to live around the area. If you want to live around the area, start looking for accommodation. Um, and then if you want to, if you're thinking about a job, so if you want to um, be working during the course, start thinking about that. Start thinking about applying for jobs and all the, all the like. Um, just to get things into place, really. So thinking about how you're going to pay your rent, how you're going to... Um, survive so things like placement and because they don't give you a maintenance loan at all so you have to think about how you're going to fund it well depending on where you're going i know some places in the midlands the finance um the financing there is different but in london for london unis um you know we only get the postgraduate loan and the grant and some other things that we get but not maintenance loan so um try and think about your finances and make sure that you sort that out by the time you start or find a way that's going to help you to sort it out by the time you start so that it's not going to stress you out it's very very important like it might seem like a very obvious thing but finances can stress you out so much by the time you start and so if you don't sort it out it might affect um how you're learning academically so yeah next tip is to interact with the pa community okay so this is very very important if you if you didn't know there is a pa group on facebook i think it's called uk physician associates applicants uk physician associate applicants i will find the right name and i'll put it down below join that group there's loads of applicants there you can find people there who are going to your uni and you can join your uni specific groups or whatsapp groups or whatever interact with your peers that's one thing that i didn't know i never heard about this group before i started uni so i think i only knew like one person before i started uni so <laughs> um if you do find a community there's a massive community on youtube hey um on facebook and on instagram as well you can message me on instagram if you want there's loads of other pa students on instagram the community is growing so please um, be part of this community ask for help ask for tips if this video is not helpful to you ask specific tips and um, people are willing to help and yeah so we are a community and we survive better together so uh, make use of this community that is growing i think it's good uh, my next tip is to mentally prepare yourself okay because pa school is hard you signed up for one crazy roller coaster ride. Trust me, it's going to be crazy. It's what you signed up for. Um, <laughs> you just need to mentally prepare yourself, okay? I don't know how you're going to do that, but you just have to mentally prepare yourself and to know that it's going to be hard, okay? I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say it's going to be a breeze because it's not going to be a breeze. So the earlier you accept that, the better. I'm not saying this to scare anyone because it is true. PA school will humble you, okay? It will humble you, just saying. But it is very doable and it's very possible to get through it. So um, mentally prepare yourself, expect it to be hard, but also that you can do it. That's why there's a very important, there's a importance of the community and also to prepare yourself and to plan ahead of time to make sure that things go smoothly by the time you start, okay? And um, my last tip is to enjoy your summer, okay? For those of you who are starting in September, the end of August, the end of this month, enjoy your summer i know that's a stupid i know that's well not stupid i know that's a strange tip to give you since i've been saying that you need to brush up on your anatomy and blah 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 but whilst you're doing that try to enjoy your summer as well because next summer you might not enjoy it as much as you're enjoying it now and the summer after that you might not enjoy it as much as you're enjoying it now so just enjoy your summer this is going to be a new um experience for you a new journey you're starting and before you're thrown into the ride into deep waters make sure that you enjoy your summer with your family your friends and you know go on holiday or whatever and yeah enjoy your time with your family anyway those are my tips guys for those of you who are starting pa school or preparing for pa school let me know if you have any more questions or if you want to know about anything else please 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 leave a comment down below or message me on instagram i love receiving dms from you guys so message me on instagram or leave a comment down below and i will try my best to answer thank you so much for watching have a lovely day and god bless bye